Yeah, so it's me and my colleague Simona. We are from uh, Technarium Hackerspace in Vilnius, Lithuania. We do some projects in some semi-industrial settings and we are here today to share some insights from post-Soviet perspective on the open hardware. So during Soviet times, we are still young, but we remember during Soviet times, everyone was a maker. Every father was fixing his car, what, well, family's car on a weekly basis. Every mother had to knew how to design and sew those jackets with ridiculously wide shoulders. And every radio, every TV set, every vacuum cleaner uh, came out with full schematics and full maintenance, uh, maintenance uh, documentation and everything. And of course it was not because, uh, because Soviets were somehow very for DIY, it was because the, oh, uh, it was because quality was crap. <laughs> and consumer was, uh, was, uh, ex was being expected to, to perform, to maintain the thing. And that's uh, what people were doing. And I have some examples. This is a kitchen knife uh, my friend's father smuggled out of uh, uh, sea, uh, out of, uh, how do you say, ship, ship factory. It is made of, uh, of exhaust pipe of a maritime vessel, smuggled out in a suitcase. This is a screw made out of nail uh, from a small fisherman uh, village. Uh, apparently they had they, they didn't have a screw, so they had to make it from a nail, but what not. Then uh, this is a potato grinder my neighbor made for my parents. And this is the best potato grinder in a sense of maintenance. To wash it, you just open it and put it under the tap. That's it. You know, it's the best thing uh, in the sense of potato grinding I ever had. And uh, this is a uh, juicer to make apple juice made of what not, bits and pieces from another neighbor of, uh, of mine. And to make, to make my point clear, I'm not here to praise the Soviet system. System sucked all right, you know, but you did not, you could not obtain the stuff. And uh, what you could obtain was crap. So my point is that once in a time, there was a modern society which had DIY and hacking and making and what you call it, woven deep, deep into the structure of society, you know? So, and now fast forward to the, this open hardware movement of 21st century. Now, I have a feeling somewhat being into it myself pretty a lot, I have a feeling that it's somewhat very related to recreation, to hobby. And I'm asking myself, do we, as a movement, do we have power to change the world? If you compare to open source software, why open source software matters? It's because we have internet based on all open source software. And where is Linux, uh, Apache, Firefox of uh, open hardware? Where is my open source vacuum cleaner? Where is my open source switched mode power supply? Where is my open source variable frequency drive? And as long as we're at it, please, please, people, design me an electric kettle which does not start to leak after two weeks of use. <laughs> So, and just last week I was, I was disassembling this uh, switched mode power supply which came from shady, shady eBay source bought from, for peanuts and of course it was like design did not make sense. It was like really, really like, well, what? So, and I just came with the idea, what if this thing was of open design with open schematic 
and with documentation about all the decisions which were made during the design process of the thing. What if we, oh, no. What if we, what if we just, you know, produce open designs and infest the dark Chinese third, uh, third source markets with open source designs so they produce us, you know, good stuff, at least documented stuff, and stuff we know should work, because they, well, they have the capability to produce stuff. They just need design, so if instead of them stealing some ancient design from mean well and copy of a copy it, why, why don't we provide them an open source design of switch mode power supply? So, well, they make it, and it's a nice thing to have. And then, after that, it's this internet of thingies coming to us. And I would say before our houses start reporting on us and whatnot, we better make sure that it's our things, not their things. So we have to work hard now to take over the designs now before they make the designs and spread it all over our world. Thanks.